This train has seen it all, from desperation and fear to hope and generosity. In this small Mexican town of about 4,500 people, a group of women work for hours to help complete strangers. We started hearing people on board saying we're hungry and we're thirsty. When we first started, we were told, you women are crazy. Why do you feed people you don't even know? The train is nicknamed the Beast. Its passengers aren't your average travelers. Most of them are from Central America. They hop on the cargo train in the hopes of getting closer to the U.S. Along the way, they pass through the Mexican town of La Patrona in the state of Veracruz. With each passing train, these women hand out food, water, clothes, and shoes to whoever reaches out. The train doesn't stop, neither does their generosity. We've always seen it as a project that was started by God, and He invited us to take part. We do this 365 days a year. We give them a bag of rice, beans, and then tortillas. The Vatican's Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome invited the group's founder, Norma Romero Vasquez, to talk about their work. Before this visit, she gave a presentation at Oxford University. These are humble people from Mexican communities. They see this problem and the suffering it brings, and they go out and do something. The group started in 1995. Since then, it has helped thousands of complete strangers. At first, they paid for everything, but as word got around, donations started pouring in. Even though immigration is a heated debate, the founder of the group says she's not really interested in the politics of it. She says she just wants to help those in need.